All right, guys, so I apologize for the, the delay. We've got this new estimating formula for you. I think you're going to like it a lot better. There's still going to be some improvements along the way that we'll send you and then um, any kind of updates. But this is going to be really, really good for you right now and uh, really sufficient. The only thing it doesn't have at this point is a way to estimate or to actually send the estimate to the customer via email. So you are going to have to manually type that into a work order or just um, handwrite it into the into the work order while you're out on the on the job site. So anyways, what I'm looking at here is the first page. Um, roof lines now with this it's a lot better than the online version that we have before because i know a lot of you wanted to be able to skip around and with that you can do that or with this program you can do that so um i can go on on these tabs at the bottom here that's how i'm jumping around and click on any of these so if i just need to do an estimate for roof lines and a couple palm trees then i can just hit those two tabs that's the only two that i need to do by the same token if i just want to do roof lines i can just hit the roof lines tab so very cool with that um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start showing you guys the functionality of it. So linear feet of roof line, difficulty level one, let's say I have 150 feet. Let's say I have 50 feet at difficulty level two, and let's say I have 25 at three plus. Description, I can type anything I need to in there. You'll see on the, the other pages, I actually put some, some real words in there, but just to show you, um, for an example right there. So it's going to give me total feet. I'm going to put in my permanent break even, which is $1.50 for us out here. And then my markup, 160%. It's going to give me a labor charge of 502.50. Right here, I go select my lighting. I'm going to go C9 light line, 12 inch spacing, 225 feet, because I see that right up here. Enter that in. Boom, light charge, $111.38. Total charge, 613.88. So that's for a 225 foot of roof line, and it's at these different difficulty levels. It's automatically calculating that. I'm going to show you how to go and save your break even into this or I'll, I'll tell you how to do that after a while because it's probably something you guys want to do so you're not always having to enter in your break even. You can just go through every page on this form, put in that break even without any of this other information and save it and then it'll it'll have that in there. And you can change that at any time obviously and uh, just resave it. So we've got our roof lines done right there. Let's go ahead and go to window windows. I already pre-filled in a lot of this information so you guys would, uh, it wouldn't take this video forever for you to watch. So a lot of stuff is pre-filled in, and then uh, there's just a few things that I do want to show you. So windows, linear feet of windows, quantity is at this level. So difficulty level one, I have 18 feet. Let's say that I have four windows. I'm going to click on my drop-down box, and you guys can already see this thing's moving way faster than the online version. You'll be able to actually download this um, and save it to your computer, so there shouldn't be any issue whatsoever with speed. Just uh, one thing to consider is that you do need to have Microsoft Office Excel for this program to be able to work. So it's not very expensive to get um, to probably get something you can either pay a monthly fee with uh, Office Suite 365 or you can just buy the whole program for maybe 100, 200 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and go with two at uh, quantity level three, 10 linear feet. Uh, I measure off my windows. These are my total feet. And then I'm going to pick the number of windows right there. Here's my description. You can see up here at the top, it's given more of a description. It's cutting off a little bit of it right here, but Matt will have that fixed in the next half hour to an hour, and I'll resend it to you. Basically, it's just not wrapping the text in this cell right here, but not a big deal at all. You can still see it right up there when I click on here. The yellow cells are the cells that you'll never have to enter anything into. Those are the ones that are going to automatically calculate, and then these white cells are the one, ones that you will. So you can see I've already put 1.5 in there. Let's put it in again. Already put my markup 160%. Put that in again. It gives me a labor charge of 231.16. Type of lighting I'm going to use C7 light line 12 inch spacing. I've got a total of 92 feet. So I'm just going to enter my feet right there. It's going to calculate that for me. Light charge is 45.54. Total charge is 276.70. Balconies and fence lines. Uh, we got level one or level two. I just went ahead and put 250 feet into level one. And then I've got my description here, swags on iron fence and backyard, mini multi-LED. can be as detailed as you want on that. Obviously, you're going to have pictures to go with this. So really, it just needs to be enough for you to, to have some instructions there to kind of remind yourself of what's going to be done when you're doing the diagram for the job. Total feet, 337.5. I already put in my break-even earlier. Um, my total break-even is 2250. Markup, 160%. Labor charge is going to be 5850. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go with the 25 foot mini LED strands. I can pick from a number of different items. By the way, we are going to update this. You'll probably have a lot, you'll see a lot more products in here to be able to choose from. Because I know that you guys have been asking, well, well, what about some of the different spacing? So we will incorporate that into it probably in the next day or so. Just wanted to get this over to you um, as soon as possible so you can start using it. So I already put in there, I need 14 strands. I'm using the mini lights. Gives me a light charge of $192.50 and my total of $251. Columns and palms. What I wanted to show you guys here, um, it's pretty much very similar to the, the page that was online. We're putting in our height and feet. It's asking if it's over 20 feet. Um, and I'll go back to that in a second. Quantity, two, six inch spacing, 24 inch circumference. So it's very important you always have to fill this out because you see down here it says not available. It's not calculated in the formula if you don't put something in here. So that's why I wanted to point that out. So I need to select yes or no. Obviously that's gonna be no. 18 foot one is gonna be yes. Um, for that yes, it's actually calculated an additional percentage to add to the formula just because anytime you're over 20 feet, it's going to be more difficult. Might need to have two people up there passing the light ball back and forth to each other and that sort of thing. So again, I've got my description here. This is where it's definitely cut off, but um, that will be fixed as I said. Okay, so I already have my break even in there. I already have my markup. Gives me a labor charge of $620.10. I'm using uh, the 25 foot mini incandescent strand, six inch spacing. 30 strands, my light charge is 146.85, which gives me a total, sorry about that guys, uh, gives me a total of $766.95. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the uh, bushes, hedges, and flower beds tabs, show you guys how that works. Um, same thing as the other program that was online. You basically have to enter in the surface area in square feet. So as you know, you've got to measure that out, to put it in. So Matt's got um, 12 different cells here. You can put it in individually if you want, or you could just add it all up. Obviously it's all at the same difficulty level. It's gonna give you a total feet total down uh, right here. So like I said, you can either split it up or you can just total it all up and put it in one of these cells. It doesn't matter at all. Um, got my description right there, giving me total feet. I already put in my permanent break even, $60 uh, break even, 160% markup. Gives my labor charge. I selected my lights right there. And then uh, I got my light charge and I have my total right here. Go to trees. Uh, one of the things in trees, you've got your chart up here to use because you are going to have to enter in the data down here. One of the things that we are working on is to have it automatically calculate. I don't know how soon that's going to happen, but that is something that will be added to this as a feature in the future. Right here, if you need to reference the tree sizes, just click on that tab, and you can either scroll down through all of them, which it uh, has the sizes right here that we talked about, just like in the uh, in, our, in our formulas like we discussed in the class, or you can jump like a quick link to medium trees. Um, and you can go back to the top right here. You can go to giant tree. So I think you guys get the idea on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go back here to trees pages so to get out of that link I just go ahead and click on that link at the bottom again that says trees or the tab so right here you can go ahead and select through the drop down box the size of your tree and you can also select the wrap type that you're doing put a quantity in here then use your chart up above to determine the minutes and the total feet and don't double it at all or you know if I was gonna go let's say if I wanted to pick four it's going to change that number right down here. So you don't need to worry about um, doubling that or times four, or times six, whatever number you put in, that's automatically going to equate down here. So don't worry about that at all. Description, you guys already know how that works by now. I, I didn't even put anything there. Got my break even, got my other numbers down here. And um, we've already seen enough tabs of how this all works. But just remember, you do have that quick link to look at the tree sizes, drop down boxes here, and that this automatically calculates. Okay, light stakes, just very simple. Just put in your total fee, description. It's gonna calculate everything for you. Go ahead and choose your uh, type of lights right there. Wreaths, it's gonna allow you to, to select other, uh, either difficulty level one or two, and then the quantity. Description again, the types, different types there. We'll probably add some to that as well. Put some, we're gonna add some non-lit lit wreaths in there. Put your quantity in, it's gonna give you a wreath charges for the uh, materials and then your total after the labor. 
All right, so like I said, I can skip around. I can go back. Oh, I want to take another look at the windows. I want to change something right here. I want to change this to um, 14 feet. I actually couldn't, couldn't imagine why I'd have to do that, but if you do, it's going to change your calculations, and it's going to do that automatically. But what you would have to do is go down here and change this number as well, the amount of strands or feet of lights, so 76. Where this will maybe come into play is we go to the form totals. Now right here, you're going to have all the information carried over from all the other pages. So the description, which was my uh, jibber jab right there, but then you also have uh, the real words and sentences, so those all carry over. So I can look at my roof lines, windows, stake lighting, palm trees and pillars, trees, each category I can look at individually and I can say um, what it's costing me. The total minutes are put in there because we want you to know for um, planning how long the job is going to take. That's the only reason we do that. And then up here, there's a drop down box and you can select the number of crews. So let's say it's uh, crews number four. What that's going to do is at the bottom, it's going to tell you the total hours for the job. Don't worry about it right here, the total minutes. Um, in fact, I might have Matt, might have Matt just take that out, I'm not sure, but that's really not the information you need to know because, it, like I said, it's always going to total it up down here at the bottom. So this job with everything, of course, this is a very extensive job, doing a lot of work. It would take 9.42 hours with a crew of um, four. With a crew of three, it's going to drop that to 12.56 uh, hours. Or I'm sorry, it's going to raise it to 12.65, 12.56 hours rather. And I really recommend that you guys always run between crews of three and four people. I don't like the idea of running uh, two man crews and obviously not one person out there just doing it by themselves. So what's cool about this? Let's say that I approach the customer. I've got my breakdown on everything. I know that the roof line is running 613. The windows are 234. Stake lining is 855. Palm trees are 913, and so on and so forth. If the customer box on my price, now I can go back and uh, say, okay, well, let's talk about maybe removing a few things. Maybe, you know, we don't need to do those palm trees necessarily. I think it would still look great, and we can still make it look great without the stake lighting. That's adding quite a bit to it. So, you know, and they're comfortable. Maybe they only want to spend uh, more like around three thousand instead instead of five thousand. So I can simply go back now, and I can go to my columns and palms. I can get rid of those by just resetting the form. So I click that reset form button. That's going to be taken out. And then same thing with light stakes. Click on that. Reset form. Now I'll go back to my form totals. Got my price down to 3381. Hey, how does that sound, Mrs. Jones? You comfortable with that price range? Great. Let's go ahead and sign the deal. So what we're working on is having all this information transfer over to this. I mean, you can see how it is doing it right there, but we don't have that dialed in yet. Eventually, um, hopefully sometime soon, we should we should have that. Until then, you're just gonna have to take these form totals, and like I said, you're just gonna have to manually go ahead and uh, write that on an estimate sheet, or you can you can uh, type it in. Just you know, do it do it one of those two ways, and then just get it to your customer either via email, or what I would suggest is probably just doing it right there on the spot. Um, either emailing it to them or just, like I said, handwriting it out, doing it the old school way with that. But anyways, um, like I said, it's a great system. You can scroll through all these different different tabs, jump around, go and reset anywhere that you need to, get rid of my balconies and fence lines, get rid of my bushes and he hedges and flower beds. <clears throat> Hopefully you wouldn't go to trouble of bidding all that stuff if you didn't already at least have an idea of that's you know something that they wanted to do. But knock those out my form my price goes down to 24.4560 my hours are down to 6.38 i'm going with the four man crew got to hit my drop down box here and that's something by the way that you guys could save as well so you could reset the form and put nothing in except for the number of crew members and your uh, your break even and then save it and customize it for yourself so yeah see i put crew four that takes it down to 4.78 hours and this is just so that you guys can gauge how much time you need to, to plan for a job but anyways let me know if you have any questions shoot me an email give me a call that's what i'm here for and hopefully you guys are going to really like um, using this new new format